Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, we are working our way through uh, Peter's first letter. Currently we are in chapter 5. In fact, we're just starting chapter 5 today. And we're going to be looking at the first four verses. And Peter writes this. He says, To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's suffering, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be. Not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve. Not lording it over those who entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. <clears throat> Sometimes when somebody speaks a great truth to you, it can be kind of hard to take. Especially when it pricks your conscience or makes you ask some hard questions of yourself. So when Peter says in verse 2, be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, it might make any of us ask ourselves, uh, am I doing this because I really want to, or I'm willing to, or am I doing it because I have to? You see, when we're reluctant to serve, we're often not in the right place to serve well. It shows that the, in the things that we bring to the kingdom, it will lack the love and grace that we should be carrying. And it reflects poorly on the, on, the pink, on the people that we're working with. In short, we don't shine as the lights we're supposed to in the world that we serve. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a really good and positive thing to take a step back and do a little bit of self-examination. Ask ourselves the question, what are we willing to do and what are we not willing to do? And what is it that motivates us to make those kinds of decisions? Sometimes it's subconscious, so you need to spend a bit of time just really pondering these things. We then need to bring those things to God in prayer and seek his guidance, his wisdom, and probably a greater infilling of the Holy Spirit. So why don't we just start that now, and then I'll leave you to, to rest in his presence. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, would you come now and bless us with an ability to search ourselves and to see the places where we're serving with the wrong kind of motivation. Help us to see the places where we're lacking and the places where we're gaining from doing the wrong things. Lord, we ask that you would fill us with even greater compassion, more of your love and more of your grace, so that we might serve you better and bless those around us more deeply. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So why don't you uh, just spend a little bit of time resting in God's presence, soaking in those questions, asking what am I doing and what motivates me, and pray a little more. I'll leave you with that. Have a great day.